Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Shortest Trip to Earth. We've had another lovely combat where, uh, well, we've lost quite a bit of health and we've lost yet another crew member, so that's great. Honor, killed by hostile crew. Uh, sadly, the lost one had believed the horrible god would punish their life with years of torture due to the way they slept during their life. Our crew remained skeptical and instead optimistically celebrated how big a relief and positive amazement death probably is for the dead crew member. That torture for sleeping wrongly is nonsense. Alright, so we've got no organics uh, in our ship at the moment. Wait, what's going on? Okay. Uh, so we're... <laughs> This is going to get quite interesting. Let's uh, have some people repair. Because we need to get rid of the excess metal. There we go. That's fine. Okay, load that back up. So now we also have too many synthetics. We only have Pamela May that's hurt a little bit, so that's fine. And of course, no organics. Um, and too much fuel. Uh, we don't have any more space over here, so we cannot really pack the fuel up. I suppose we'll just have to get rid of it. Wait a second, let me see. Uh, blah, 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 multi-container, 350 fuel. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And there's a car organics containers, which are kind of useless now. Because we don't have that many organics, so I could switch it over with something else. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, these are only container slots, right? Yeah, except only container modules cannot be upgraded, so never mind that. I thought I had another container, but I don't. Oh, well, never mind. Right, so unfortunately, we'll have to be dumping the excess fuel here. Uh, I already have two nukes, so I cannot make some fuel nukes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. Let's dump the excess, convert this... Yeah, that's fine. Alright. That's a bit of a shame, really. But oh well. So now we're a bit hungry. Let's go to this uh, space station over here. Wow, what the heck is that? Biotech Stealth Decryptor. That's really weird. Okay, let's uh, repair our ship first. 300 to repair. We've got 1600. It's not so bad. Our ship has very low health, 38, that's not much. Well, I mean, it's okay, but... Star fuel, we can uh, sell some of it, I suppose. We can buy some organics, all that they have. We can sell some exotics, 30 isn't bad. Sell some synthetics. And metals are one to one. Okay, now let's see what they have. Warp Drive, Crystal B, we don't want that because we already have this type EB, which is pretty nice. It, well, it uses more f uh, more energy, but a little less fuel, and is faster and gives us ship HP, XP. Stealth Decryptor, oh, I was kind of hoping this would be a lab, but it's not. Ah, there's another Shroomery, that's what I'm interested in. Very expensive, holy cripoli. Non-combat sensor type X. What the heck? It uses a lot more energy, which we can really do. And it doesn't really have that much more range, but it does have a lot more star map radar range. And the stealth decryption. Nah, not really interested. Explosive com combinator. No, not interested. Fusion reactor. Ooh, look at these things. 20 per. But they're very uh, expensive. And the uh, accelerated greenhouse. Five. Ooh. Growery of bioengineered plants uses excess heat generated with ship movement and removes operator organics consumption. So there's five of them. We already have five people working. Wait a second. Oh yeah, we lost someone. Huh. So this is still one per. And these are all one per. So it's, it's no better, apart from the fact that, of course, it allows five people to work in one place. But it does use six energy, which is ridiculous. I mean, see, all of these use one energy per person operating there. Uh, except this one, and uses a little more. I mean, it's not much more, but still, six energy? That's ridiculous. I mean, this is all f five energy. 
So I think I'm much more interested in a shroomery. But of course I don't have enough energy to, uh, to run a shroomery unless I was to shut something off in non-combat. Like one of the lasers or something. Which I suppose really doesn't make any sense, because if you, as far as I know, if you shut these off and you turn them back on, they take a little while to recharge. But once you enter combat, even if you had a weapon powered all the time, they still need to recharge before firing. So I'm not really sure if this is a longer recharge when you turn them back on or not. I don't know. So yeah, I'm interested in that shroomery because it would allow us to put another module somewhere. Instead of the mini growery, for example. Uh, sorry, the uh, do-it-yourself microgrowery. I could put a... Well, yeah. I mean, I could have a... I don't... I, I, I wouldn't need to shut anything off. I could just put another reactor on there. Yeah. I think we'll do that. So anyway, uh, let's get rid of the microgrowery. Let's scrap this. There. And let's buy the... Not enough room. Oh, uh, let's put that reactor 15. Do we have anything better? We don't. Let's put the reactor over here. Let's buy this thingy. Put the shroomery. Hmm. Well, it's not much better, actually. Hmm. Why did I do that? That was a bit stupid. Waste of credits, but oh well. There. And I'll keep the mini growery for now. But it's only one energy, which is good. Now, I don't have enough to power... Well, actually, I do. See, this is nice, though. Yeah, this is quite nice, because now I can also power this uh, reactor... I mean, reactor shield generator from the get-go. And I think that's quite nice. And I cannot put these things onto the uh, organics containers there. Right, accelerated greenhouse, yeah, we don't want that, and we've got some- what the heck, wow, it's one of those blub things. Minus six. I'm almost tempted to get him, because- gr grippy individual. Because, uh, we need more crew, I guess. So let's hire him. Where is he? There he is! Alright. I wish we- oh look, it's like another ship of ours. I, I want those cannons! All right, so, no, I didn't want to do that. So let's uh, get the new arrival. Where's Bloob? Bloob, feeling happy. Hey, Bloob, how are you today? And Bloob is going to become, uh, let's see, a bloody Kenshiro. Welcome to the crew, bloody Kenshiro. Again, I guess. Cry asleep, there's no cry asleep. Right, so he's very, uh, very good at this, but l let's see. We need another person on the growing stuff. And he eats six, so he would be fairly good at that. I mean, not fairly good at that. He only has one in growing, but a good, uh, a good one to have on growing. Oh, good. Come on. There. So he'll do that, so we don't use that many organics. Minus four, plus three. There we go. So now we're actually making organics again while traveling. But in combat... In combat, he will be doing... Uh, five. Yeah, he'll definitely be on the weapons. He's very good at that. Okay. So let's uh, save that. And let's load the peaceful stuff again. Look at that going up. Bloop, 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 bloop. I still want a better science lab. Have we ever found a better science lab? I don't know if we have. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, 67 shield points is quite nice. Even though, again, point defenses would be uh, much more useful against uh, enemies with lots of projectile weapons. We might change them on the fly. We'll see. Uh, there's something over there as well. Well, lifeless planet. Dave of four. The surface of this lifeless planet is covered with Tiberium! Okay, patches of biomium crystals. These crystals are actually colonies of organic but inert nanobots. They were spread around the universe by precursors thousands of years ago for unknown reasons. We could collect the nanobots and refine them to organics. 
I have a feeling this is going to go badly, but this uh, playthrough is kind of like... I mean, this particular ship is kind of like... Go for it. All of it. No accidents reported. Okay. I was kind of sure we we're going to take huge damage there and horrible stuff. And... Uh, look at that. We're making organics. Large metal object. Ooh. It seems to be a wreck of a small space station. No active systems detected. Let's send the crew and investigate. This used to be a science base. Lost data records show unknown attackers destroying the base with projectile weapons. We found one survivor in a cryopod, and they decided to join our mission after a private conversation with our AI. I really do uh, want to know about those private conversations, because the AI seems to be very persuasive. Uh, right, who's the new guy? <clears throat> Aubrey... What? O'Brien Duncan. O'Brien? O'Brien Duncan? I guess. Uh, right. Let's, uh... Wait a second. Oh, yeah. There's no room. Right, so we get another person. Uh... Okay, this is going to be serious. Welcome to the crew. Again, I think. Operate, repair, extinguish fire, move. Right, so he is going to be... He eats five. So now we're using organics again. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, see, only these guys use four. He uses five. Oh, well. Uh, right. Organics consumed, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. He's seven in science. That's actually really good. But we already have seven and eight in science, so... Oh, well. Uh, he's five and growing, though. So he would actually be a better option than Bloody Kenshiro. Even though he does use six. But... Let's do this. Uh, let's do this for now. And let's have him on the growing and see how that changes. Minus nine and... Plus one, there we go. So this is a better option. But because this is... Uh, where should we put you? I mean, there's nowhere really to put him. Uh, maybe the shield's one... No, actually, you're going to keep... Uh, you're going to be on the weapons there. There. Let's also do this one. The combat one. Uh, where are you, Sirius? Wait a second, don't we have a drone called Sirius? No. Brave Sir Robin. Alright, so Sirius is going to be in combat. He's pretty good at shields, so definitely going to be on shields. There. So we have two people manning the shields. The shield is empty, and this there's a person here on the shield, so we get a lot of uh, recharge going on. Alright, good. So we're still making organics, despite the fact that we got yet another crew member, which is good. Okay, there we go. Plus one. All right, so let's go to the... Oh, that's pretty much it. All right, let's go to Zon. And there is a warp thingy there. <clears throat> but that's to Iola, that's where we came from. So Zon, we can go to Zon, or we can actually go back and go to Eurus. Well, let's do that. Yes, fly through the gate, please. And now we're going to go to Eurus. Let's see how far that is. Quite far away. So we're going to be warping to destination and probably... Nope. Not getting hailed or attacked by anything, so... Oh well. Shipwreck. Ugh. We've discovered a damaged alien ship slowly drifting in space. Its defense systems are active, but it is unresponsive to our communication attempts. Its biotech structure suggests an advanced level of technology. Um, send boarding team because that's the crazier thing whoa our boarders received severe damage from the ship's defenses during the approach and had to return mid-operation brilliant nobody else volunteers to board the ship if we want to disable its defenses now we would need to destroy most of the ship we could also leave it be its boss were just trying to protect it destroy and scavenge it seems we accidentally hit the ship's biological reactor, uh, or warp drive or something, because it just exploded in a spectacular fashion. Our ship received minor external damage that was little left to be scavenged. Well, that's quite a lot, actually. I mean, a lot-ish, I suppose. 
And then we have a bunch of uh, people that are hurt, so let's, let's do something about that. Off you go! We do have some organics, not many, which is going to, yeah, they get used up very quickly. But uh, we are producing them now, so we're fine. There you go, Pamela May also getting healed up nicely. Put that back. I would like to put this mini growery somewhere as well, even though I don't really... No. Nowhere to really put it. I mean, I can put it here, but I would be very... Actually, until we get more stuff... Oh, I got rid of all the point defense turrets. Never mind. Offline bridge non-functional. What? Well, get back to it then. Oh yeah, because they don't get back to it themselves. Okay, that's fine. Alright. So, there is a... Warp gate? No, that's a planet, isn't it? A lifeless planet of some sort. Planet with atmosphere. Eurus X. Ruins of ancient pre-industrial civilization cover this planet. Seemingly complete lack of multicellular life suggests that the civilization was probably destroyed by some kind of external attack. Exploring the planet in ruins for anything valuable will take a fair amount of time. Do it! Eco-death nanobots. We discover the entire planet's atmosphere is infested with nanobots designed to slowly kill multicellular plant life. Documenting the ruins revealed that the main tradition of this civilization seemed to be sacrificing fellow sentients and animals to obviously non-existent gods. It seems likely they were killed off by ideological precursors who didn't like their culture of cruelty. Oh, I thought... Oh, oh okay. So, that was useless. Right, we're going to Lovell now. Love it or not, we're going there. And off we go. Whoop. You know, if if I wanted to be really um, safe about it, before jumping to any system, I would change everything, all the modules and everything, to the combat profile. Uh, there's nothing here. Mothership AI assembles dead insect eyeballs into psychedelic mosaic paintings as a hobby. That's uh, reassuring that our AI is so uh, nice. That's fairly far away, so let's uh, jump over there. Yeah, but you know, it would take a lot of time if I were to do that. If I was playing this myself, maybe, maybe I would do that, but only maybe. Wow, this sector is barren. Planet with atmosphere. This planet has conflicting data on possibility of life or other conditions. Something in the atmosphere creates a strong interference with our sensors. We could print reconnaissance bots or investigate with our ship. Let's use synthetics for that. Print bots. Ugh, another one! Scouting reveals this planet is home to advanced nanobot swarms in the atmosphere, capable of disrupting technology by emitting synchronized electromagnetic waves. The nanobots have consumed all other resources on the planet. Recordings on the phenomena has uh, scientific value. That's uh, kind of a scary thought if you think about it. I mean, self-replicating -repli nano-robots, um, or smaller, um, would, well, be, I don't know, a really, really, really creepy thing in real life. Because there'd be little to stop them, I suppose. Gash giants. Well, there's some fuel for us. The gas giant does not have elements. <laughs> Never mind. Civilian wares. Alright, so they get some star fuel. We'll buy some. Whoa, that's expensive. Get some organics, which we are making. Barely. So I'm not going to be buying anything for now. They get some exotics, which we can sell. Uh, I mean, they're buying exotics at a fair price. Uh, synthetics and metals. I'm not gonna be doing that. We don't have any... Oh yeah, we do have a little bit of damage. Thank you. Alright, let's see. We got a cryodrine recorder, multi-container FOO. Oh. Some more for more fuel. Tech artifact, an asteroid predictor, integrity hardpoint. That's kind of cool. Micro reactor, we don't like those. 700 extra large, and these are large. I wish they would really give you like a thousand or something. 
biotech reactor, only a small one. Look at this one. This is the biotech reactor we want. Yeah. Armored multi-container FSE. Huh. Um. Do we have, uh, no, we don't have an FSE. But this one. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have metal. It's uh, it's got exotics. Exotics fuel. Hmm. Oh, organics. Yeah, this one is better, but I'm not paying uh, such a premium for just a bit of extra HP. Yeah. And another shield generator, as if we don't have enough. Uh. I mean, if you think about it, we have a pretty good setup because we have a lot of shield and a lot of shield regeneration and we have 70% ship deflection. Unfortunately, like I said, this is very deceptive because while it does mean that a lot of the projectiles will be deflecting, if they deflect somewhere over here, that doesn't mean much at all because they'll have a 70% to deflect and then they go like this. Oh, deflection again like this. Oh, you missed that deflection and it hits. And, you know, the... At the end, they still hit you. Just not where they maybe wanted you, uh, maybe wanted to hit you. Uh, yeah. I'm not putting another shield generator, especially because I have a do-it-yourself here, which is... Surprisingly, well, not better. It's got a little bit more shield, but it's a lot slower. But yeah, for now, I'll just keep this as is. Even though I do have... Uh, well, not the energy to power this one, no. All right, so let's get out of here. Civilian wares, space station, mercenaries. Oh, more stuff, okay. 2-2, two, two. organics, explosives, synthetics. They do have explosives and exotics for 36. I like that. There you go, take that. Explosives for one. Hmm. I'm very tempted to just buy everything. And I did. Organics. Alright, so they got some cryosleeps, cryosleep family time, do it yourself, decoy capital missile. Oh yeah, there's a decoy one. Resource pack. And a medical cryosleep. They got a lot of uh those cryosleeps. And there's the exit warp gate, really. Oh. It was fairly quick. Alright, so I think now is the time to get ready for a fight if there is one here. So we're going to put all of our fighty stuff over here. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so another shield generator. As is, uh, as is usual. Um, I'll put another reactor on there. Some more batteries, or I could put some more scales. Do it like this now. Look at that power. Unlimited power! And of course, this. This is plus nine, this is plus seven. So put this one. I could put you in another shield. <laughs> We've got 97 shield hit points. Okay, let, 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 let's do that. Why not? Let's, uh, let's do it. Even though, actually, that is a... Uh, yeah. Never mind, that is a place for a gun. Hmm. Uh, so let's see, heat ray, one times six, one times two, one times three. Uh, mining laser. I'll put the heat ray on there, I think. There. That takes a long time to recharge. Bloody hell, it takes a long time to recharge. Okay, well that's pretty good. All right, off we go to the exit warp gate. Oops. Two ships are guarding the gate. They refuse our calm requests and will most likely attack if we approach. Attempt to leave the area because I forgot to load the combat profile. So everyone needs to walk over to their lovely destination. Interesting. It's like Rasta space pirates or something, no? There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Everyone at the ready. What is Undermerg doing? Oh, he's, he's doing the fighty stuff, because he's very good at it. All right, let's try this again. Uh, revisit. Prepare for battle. Whoa, those are some big ships. What does that say? Lay Lair? Oh. Oh, jeez. I want that ship. Look at the amount of stuff they have. 
Even though uh, we kind of do have a lot of stuff, just more compact. Uh, oh man, they have a lot of things. Ooh, cannons. Shuriken sniper, never deflect. Ignore shields, ignore shields. Oh, dual ray projector. Okay, that at least doesn't project. They have. Oh man, they got a lot of stuff everywhere, and they oh they're actually damaged. What's going on there? So we're going for this guy first because well it's gonna die. Oof, this is gonna get interesting. Uh, we'll be missing a lot, but okay, that's a little bit better. Just do it like this. Okay, and I'll be saving the nukes for now. Intruders incoming. Of course, they're already incoming. Oh, bloody hell. Do it! Do it! Yeah! Arnold! Oh, jeez, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, ow. Oh, wow, they're already dead. Good. Okay, so now, that's already damaged. Brilliant. Oh, they got so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Shield decoy. A highly armored shield battery that increases max shield points and ship HP appears as a shield generator to enemy sensors. Well, for us, that's pretty useless, but I'm guessing it's useful if you have it on. Look at that extra large container, I want that. Alright, biotech reactor. They got a lot of reactors here, so all of them seem to be here. That's also some batteries. Those are some weird nukes. Commercial nuke type happy. Yeah, very happy. Micromites nuke. A colony of microscopic mites that attack modules and crew. Dying seconds later to release corrosive poison. That's not good. Right, so I think the first thing to do is get... How are they powering every... Oh yeah, there's another reactor here. How are they powering everything? Which is this stuff. Definitely want to go for the reactors. So let's do that. Yeah, that's not going to be very good. But let's do that. Let's also use our... Oh, wait a second. They do have quite a few point defenses, don't they? Where are they? Point defense. Point defense. I think that's quickly going to be a problem. So let's go with both of them for these things. Sorry, let me do this. There. Let's try that. Both at the same time. We got a leak. Uh, I want people on repairs. Boom, boom. Excellent. Didn't really seem to do much damage. Oh, man. They, ow, they hurt. That one has been repaired. So let's go for it. Still getting through their shields, actually. They got loads of shields as well. But unfortunately, lots of... Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should put some of the uh, explosive weapons that I've gotten rid of. <laughs> Never mind. Uh-oh. Are they going for... No, they're going for other things. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. They're... Doing quite a bit of damage. Damaging our stuff. Come on. Repair that. Oh, jeez. Come on. Gotten rid of their shields. Come on. Oh, brilliant. Now we've got intruders. Where? Oh, there. Poppy. And P Dappy. Brilliant. Uh. Okay, fine. Is he on... No, see, it doesn't have him on fighting stuff. Fight them! And there's more of them coming. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, just destroy them already. Their shields are gone. Oh, jeez. Ow. And ow! What the hell? There's so much stuff going on. Come on, just, just get them already. They're almost dead. Oh, God. Uh, we already lost a crew member. Come on. Takes forever. 
Destroy them. There we go. Jeez. I want everyone fighting them now. Salvage complete. That's not much. Get them already. Okay. Jeez. I'll get everyone on repairs, so they repair all the leaks and everything. Jeez. That was not a good fight. We've lost, I think we've lost some permanent XP again, but only like two. Uh, we did not lose any modules, as far as I can tell. That's very good. Let's see the external view. Yeah, that ship is... no. Uh, Terran military engine. Not interested in that. Yeah, that was not good. Yeah, that uses way too much. We've got the explosives combinator. Slowly combines synthetics and fuels into explosives. No. And we've got the unknown biotech reactor. I'll uh, I'll keep that actually. I mean, these are only 15, so I might as well put it here. Oh yeah, I'll have to get rid of something else. Ah. Brrr. Get rid of the do-it-yourself. Because we can always make it ourselves, I suppose. There. Oh, mining sector. Warp to next sector? No, not yet. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. This was not a very good fight. And we've also lost a crew member. We took the whole evening to honor the lost one by browsing all the data they left behind, including various art the person created during their lifetime. There was a book we didn't even know they wrote. We will add their art to Intergalactic Dead Artists Library, making it forever accessible to future beings. Under uh, Undead Merc, not under Merc. They will be remembered. Well, thank you for watching, like I said before, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.